Charlotte. I'm trying to make my way to this big three game. I'm late. I missed the first game, but hey, this does not stop anything. But follow me. everybody it's your boy Jesus and today I'm gonna to show y'all a little vlog on my trip to Charlotte I decided to go to a big three game big three is an uprising league in which after the NBA it's a little substitute basketball you know from all your stars from yesteryears stars from the late 90s 2000s and even stars that really didn't make it too well in the league I mean it gives you an opportunity to see their skill level let me tell y'all how it started off. I planned on basically vlogging time I woke up, but I had a little feeling in my spirit that, you know, my car is not gonna start up. So I went in my car and I cranked it up, and what do you know, it did not start up. I was pissed off, but I decided, let's go ahead and act fast. Let me give you a timeline. The big three starts at 11 o'clock. I got in my car about 9.15. When the car didn't stop, I didn't call one tow truck. I didn't call two tow trucks. I called three. First one there, they get your bread. If they're late, then hey, they don't get nothing. So, you know, it was basically a tag. So one person calls me back and tells me, hey, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Nah, you know, I need it done pretty much as soon as possible. And I called all the tow truck companies that's on my street. So it's like, okay, are all the tow trucks out? So I called the second one. The second one told me, Hey, I'm less than 30 minutes away. I didn't know how to take it because at that point, I didn't want to keep calling tow trucks. So I was like, uh, all right. So then I called another one and they called me back and said, I'm five minutes away. So they are the winner. Got out, decided to text the second person that called me back. And I told them, hey, my mom called another tow truck. And I went along with that. And once again, the people came, they towed the car. And while I was out there, the second tow truck still decides to show up. I didn't say nothing to them. I didn't even look them in the eye. They just left, and hey, it is what it is. So they took my car to get in the zone, out of zone. So after they did that, had my car looked at, you know, it was like, yes, yeah, the battery, obvious. But the person that I ended up going to, the guy that I went to in AutoZone, his extra ass, his peanut-headed ass, he decided that he wanted to, you know, do everything but his job. Just telling people, well, you know, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this battery out because we try to get away from this kind of battery. I'm just like, bro, can you do it, yes or no? So I know I'm going to have to call another tow truck to move my car. Just please let me know. Please let me know what we're going to do. I ain't got no tools, bro. Please let me know. So... All of a sudden, you know, he said he's going to have to let his manager know. Do you know this man never went to the manager, you know, until I came back in? You know, he tried. He gave me the prices and everything, but he never talked to the manager. So I'm waiting, wasting time. Yes, I have to be at this big three game at 11 o'clock. And at that time, it was about 10, 15. I'm just like, damn, you know what? Maybe it's just not meant for me to go. But, you know, guy finally came out. The manager, actually, you know, the, the, the person that actually knows how to do his job, he came out and he put the battery in and ended up leaving. And I will go ahead and say this, I'll stop it here. Sometimes you got to follow the signs. If shit is not going right, just keep going, you know. Every day's not going to be great. But I remember the manager told me, he was like, hey, hey I understand you got to be to Charlotte, but hey, don't stop and don't cancel your trip, just keep going. And I decided to do that. So, on my way to Charlotte, I'm over here speeding, racing, trying to get to Charlotte. I run into some assholes that decided, hey, I don't want to drive fast in the fast lane. We just want to take our sweet, precious time. So, I'm trying to get around them. And once again, you know how assholes are. They try to cut you completely off when you're trying to get over when they're already not driving fast. So, one truck gets past me. I finally get over right behind them. Do you know the car behind me decides to maneuver around me 
while I'm driving in the lane. And I'm just like, I know this mother didn't. I know God and well, this mother didn't. And they did. They, they really did that. Bruh, when I tell you, I wish I had a pistol so I could go. But anyway. What the fuck? That happened eventually, got around them. I gave them this. You know they was getting the middle finger. Fuck you, you white devil. And I hope you, you know what, I ain't gonna say that. So, as you see, I'm here. I got some pretty good seats. I'm right behind the announcer's table. I'm behind where they take the ball out at. I'm actually behind where they sit on the bench. So, this was actually good seats for me. I think if you actually go to an event and you want to enjoy yourself, get some good seats, man. This will actually be worth it if you actually spend your money the right way. The first game that I missed included the Trilogy, which is Jason Terry's team, versus Joe Johnson's team, which is the Triplets. The Triplets ended up getting the victory. But I'm here for the Gilbert Arenas game, which I was a huge fan growing up of Gilbert Arenas. And Deshaun Stevenson's Ball Hogs. So I actually didn't film a lot of the game footage just for the simple fact that in a company like that, you need to do your due diligence and check it out. See if you like it, you know, because the victory is something that I want to see survive for a very long time. So, you know, I just recorded random films, but what I want to do the most, give myself an opportunity to enjoy the big three and not just sit there and be on my phone the whole time because that can ruin an experience. But I think these guys, they did very great for it to be week two. A lot of these guys haven't even been in the big three the following years before, so a lot of them are just trying to get back into shape. So during the halftime intermission, I had a chance to take a picture with Jason Terry. I was nervous, but that's a real cool dude. Go mad with that trophy. But it's really good to see a lot of your NBA pastime players, you know, come through and, you know, really come out to entertain one more time for the fans, you know? You don't want to hear about them out there getting in trouble or doing things they ain't got no business doing. This is positive. This keeps them out the streets. And from what I did my research on, they actually do charity events. So, you know, they get back to the community. And there's nothing better than that. The next game, which was Three's Company versus the Killer Threes. Three's Company has Baron Davis and Killer Threes has Steven Jackson wasn't really much of a game. Baron Davis didn't play. It was pretty one-sided and Killer Threes pretty much ended that handily. Look at Charles Oakley's outfit. Boy, that thing is swaggy. Yeah, guys. It's your boy. This is God. It's after the game. The game was pretty entertaining. I think more people should go out and support him. Big Three. You have big names out there. Big things happening. But... For the most part, it was a great game. I'm just driving around now. Don't really feel like going home quite yet, but I enjoyed my time, and next year I might do it again. We'll see. Maybe I actually might be on time next year. But it's been your boy, Jesus. I'm out.